Welcome to the patient portal. By now you should have received an email from your healthcare provider. And in that email will be a link to bring you to the patient portal. Also in the email is an attachment. In that attachment, you are going to find your username and password. To open the attachment, you will use your birth date, two digit month, two digit day, and four digit year with no slashes or dashes in between. Once you've found your username and password, you will put your username in here. You will enter your temporary password and click login. Now you're able to add your new password. And go ahead and hit I agree. Here are the terms and conditions if you would like to read them and hit submit. Now it says you have successfully completed, created your new password. So you're going to go ahead and say OK to that. And now you're going to log back in using your username that you had and the new password that you created. I'm going to hit log in. And now we're into the patient portal. Now, if you have never been in the patient portal before, you may come to a different screen. This will be your registration screen and it will walk you through your registration process. If you needed to change something in that registration process over here beside your name in the upper right corner is an arrow and it's going to show you personal information. These are the same screens that you would have gone to if you had uh, never been into patient portal before. You could go ahead and fill in this information here there and then you can come up here again it's going to give you your preferred languages your insurance information emergency contact information all of that would be what you would be walking through um, if you had just logged in for the first time um, if you've been in the patient portal before this is what it looks like you first come into your dashboard any appointments that you might have in the schedule would be in here if you wanted to make a new appointment, you could just click on the new appointment tab and then choose your location. Um, I'm going to leave it all locations. Lab. And then you can choose which provider you would like to see and for what reason you would like to see that provider. And then hit find a time. Now it's going to show you the days of the week across here. And then you can choose the time that you would like to make that appointment for. So I'm going to make it. Uh, for this time and then I'm going to go ahead and hit schedule now. Once I've scheduled it, my appointment history will come over here and also on my dashboard I can see that appointment history in here. This is your messages center so if you wanted to send a message to the provider you can hit compose, you can uh, write a message here and then if you wanted to attach something you can attach it and then hit send down here in the lower right corner and your message will get sent. If the provider has sent you any messages, you would see those in your inbox. Um, and then if you wanted to compose, and this uh, is a record of all the messages that you have sent out. Now down here we have my account. So any uh, outstanding money that you might have would be down here. And you can see if it's current or past due you can make a payment. You can see your statements. So you can click here and see any statement that you have. Over on the right, you'll see the provider that you're working with and his address um, and phone number. You'll also have any health maintenance that are coming due that you might need to take care of. And down here, you have links to your refills or your past visit details, those kind of things. Now, up here at the top, we have the appointment tab. And under the appointment tab, it's just like that tab that we went to from the home screen to make an appointment. You can make an appointment from here. You can choose whether it's a clinic appointment or a telemedicine appointment. Over on the patient forms, these are forms that your provider may want you to fill out. You have patient forms. Um, so you would just click on a form, whichever ones they've asked you to complete and then complete the information and then save or, or submit right here. Um, you can close it when you're done and go to the next form. <clears throat> and 
And then we also have legal forms. These are consent forms that you might want to sign. You can select your form, go to the click here, sign here and sign your form, say okay. And then anywhere you see that click form, you can sign, say okay. You can see how your signature is going on to this form. And then when you're done, you just hit submit down in the right corner. Okay, we have My Health Records. My Health Records is all the things that the provider may have shared with you. So you have a summary of your visit. This would be uh, all your past medical history information, anything that you would have in one of these fields, you could click on the little arrow and it would give you the information behind the arrow. You can hit back and it brings you back to the screen and you can go to the next area where you might have information click back and all the way through the screen. If you go here to past visits, you'll be able to see all your past visits where, that you've had and you can click here to see a copy of your progress note. I'm going to click back. If I go down to lab results, again, I would be able to see any lab results that I had across here and you, I would be able to review those results. Same thing with radiology and then vital trends are your vitals over time. So you can see what kind of vitals they have taken. You can see the month across the top. So you can compare how you're doing right here. This person has lost 20 pounds over a period of time. Um, lab trends. This is going to compare your labs side by side by side over time. So you'll see how you're doing with your labs. Same thing with radiology uh, trends. Um, education, if your provider has shared any education material with you, it would be under the education tab. And then you have health history. So you can see any health histories that you have uh, completed or have has been completed by the provider. You'll be able to look them up in here. And then you also have any attached documents. So if you've attached or the provider has attached documents, you can see those in here. So to attach a document, you would just select a category. Maybe you're sending some old progress notes and you wanted to say uh, old progress note here. And then you can come to the attach button. So you can select a file and dra drop and drag it, or you can go to your computer and select that file and hit the attach button at the bottom and then the provider and you can see it across here. You also have a prescription tab, which allows you to see any medications that you are currently taking. And then if you needed to get something refilled, you could check that box and just hit request and it will send a request to your provider. Right here, we have a message center. So if you needed to contact your message center, you have an inbox. So you can do uh, message ins, uh, sent messages and compose just like we did from the home screen. Uh, but this is another place where you can access that information. Then over under documents, this is shared documents. So this would be uh, documents that the, uh, you've shared with the clinic. And then over here we have an attached center. So we can do that in multiple places as well. And then we have our billing information. So we have outstanding. Uh, so we can see what, how much money is outstanding. And if we wanted to pay that current amount, we could pay the current amount or the outstanding amount, or we could choose another amount and make a comment. And when we're ready to pay, we're going to hit the make a payment option here. And I, you'd be able to enter your credit card information and make that payment online. If we go to patient payments, we'll see all the payments the patient has been has sent in and need, uh, have been posted. And then over here we have statements. So if you have received a statement, a copy of that statement will always be here and you can always come in here and see that. Up here in the right corner, you can add your picture into the profile slot by just choosing a picture and hitting this attach button here and attaching it. Um, you can also drop this down. And we did talk a little bit about the personal information where you can go ahead and fill in your registration information. You do have authorized users, so you can set up maybe your spouse or a parent or somebody would also have access to this. 
And then when you're finished, you can just log out. And that's how easy it is to work the patient portal. Thank you for watching.